Hey, 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 and welcome to pep talk video number two. Apparently, we have some folks that are a little on the downside, so I thought I would share with you some of my positivity and see if I can't brighten up your mood. So, here's what I have noticed. That a lot of my friends, who are in fact seasonal workers, are struggling with the change that has been forced upon them due to the issues that we are dealing with with the pandemic. So basically I'll outline this for you so you have a little bit of an idea what's going on in case you are not one of these folks and you're not in this particular loop. The problem is that the season that we normally would have started in Alaska and in a lot of tourism areas is on hold and it may be not happening altogether or it may be on hold for a long period of time and there's a lot of unknown based on that because those of us that work in travel tourism we're counting on being able to go back to work very soon if not by now for our season and so we've had to shift gears now fortunately some folks were all ready for that and some folks aren't and so in the spirit of optimism, I want to tell you that change is good and while you are not able to do what you were counting on doing for the summer, there will be a silver lining. Now there are too many of you out there listening to the video for me to predict what your silver lining will be. We'd have to do that on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So if any of you out there want a one-on-one -on -one basis, let me know. But in general, the ability to adapt is something that we as humans are specially equipped to do. And while you may not have had to stretch your particular talents in that way for a while, it's now time to do so. And the opportunity is an amazing one. Stepping outside of your comfort zone is one of the things that a lot of people really don't like to do. But it's necessary and it's a survival skill that believe it or not, human beings are amazing at. So you are designed to do exactly what you need to do in order to transition through this particularly difficult for some people period. Amazing, right? I know I'm excited about it. Of course, I'm nomadic and I've been seasonal for a long time and I like change and I like challenge. And I know that there are those of you out there that find it uncomfortable or maybe a little depressing when you don't get to do what you were hoping to do. Bear in mind that sometimes unexpected change can bring wonderful things into your life. It can give you an opportunity to grow and to learn more about yourself and to maybe encounter new people that you wouldn't have encountered had you gone the way that you had planned to go. So bear those things in mind and it'll help you navigate this difficult time. In addition to that, always remember that there's always a chance and in this particular point of the season, it might not be the greatest one, but there is a chance that you will eventually, in a month or two, or maybe three, be able to do the things that you had hoped to be able to do. What I want to challenge you to do is find the positive in what you're doing right now. Let go of the stress and think of this particular change as an adventure. It's an opportunity to stretch your legs, to stretch your imagination, to become something more than what you would have become had you just gone back to doing what you've been doing for the past several summers. It's an opportunity for growth. And I think that if you focus on the positive and you focus on how you can use this opportunity to challenge yourself to become more than you would have become had you fallen into the similar patterns that you've had in the past, that you'll find the fun and the excitement and the adventure that are all part of having to step outside of your comfort zone and do something new. In the meantime, 
let's not forget to maintain the positive structure that we've incorporated into our lives to this point. Like taking your daily vitamins or maybe making your bed every day. Um, mine's a little wrinkled because I've been doing laundry. This is my new room, my new space. I recently relocated from Utah to Oregon and so this is where I'm going to be and I'm not unpacked yet and it's a little chaotic but I knew that there was a friend or two out there that needed to hear a little pep talk. So I promised to make one and here it is. You got this. I have total faith in who you are and your ability to navigate this change and be amazing. Okay? I'll see you in the next pep talk and I hope you're having an excellent weekend here the second day of May. A whole new month. Welcome to the spring, my friends and I will see you soon. Cheers.